You can do it, Lennon. You got this. You man. can do it. You got this. This is we the blooper at the end. <laughs> hey, Lennies and Bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the long awaited LA apartment tour. So come on in. So here we have the kitchen and it's a really nice open floor concept plan, which I love. It's very conducive to me being able to see linen all the time. There's a lot of countertop space as well for cooking, which I love. I always have a fruit basket for me and linen. She loves her bananas, as you know. And then right over here, we have the, I guess, treat area, her pellets, her treats, and then human treats. Who doesn't like a little chocolate, right? And then I also have this situation, which I love. Kind of like glows up the kitchen. I mean, there's people that like buy LED like strip lights for this, okay? So very exciting. I've never had under the cabinet lighting before. I also have my matcha station. Look at this bad boy. Okay, it's called a milk frother. I almost forgot what it was called. I highly recommend everybody get one at some point in their life. We have a very special dining table. I'll tell you why it's special. Because I made it myself. When I tell people that, like, they don't know what that means. They're like, what do you mean you, you made this table? I, I couldn't find a table that was like super slim the way I wanted it to be. I saw this really gorgeous black marble dining table uh, that CB2 is selling for like two grand and it's ginormous. So I decided that I was gonna make a replica, but basically just like a smaller version. And I searched like all of LA County far and wide. It was a journey to get this slab of marble. It was actually the scrap marble that like some guy was trying to get rid of. So I had it cut and polished. And then I bought the legs separately and the plywood, spray painted the plywood black, and then I attached everything. So it was a project, you guys. People would never know that all this blood, sweat, and tears went into this table, but it did. And I always have white tulips on hand. Love these candle holders that my mom got me. It's real Austrian crystal. Over here, we've got some authentic Peruvian artwork. This gold frame I love. It's very typical of you know, the Peruvian framing over there. And then I actually painted this guy myself. I paint a lot of my own artwork, mostly because like I can't afford real art. <laughs> but also because I, I just love to paint, I've always done so. As you can see, I was very upset <laughs> when this happened. A boy made me cry, so you know, that's all there is to it. This is my faux office, because there's not such a thing in this apartment. You kind of have to like create your own situation. Cute little nook. It's next to the fridge, which is a little awkward, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. That's little biracial Lorelei. <laughs> Those are my parents back in the day. And then back there, we've got a collection of mementos from my solo trip to Japan. So here we have my favorite part of the house, which is the living room. Hey baby, come here. There she is. She's so cute. Come up. Be part of the video. Or should I pick you up? <laughs> Here, be, be on camera, yeah? I love these candle holders. They are handmade in Peru in the 90s, and I'm obsessed with like twist candles right now. And this couch took like four months to get here, and then it finally arrived. And it's gorgeous, it's stunning, it's, it just looks like a giant marshmallow. But I am a little mad at it because I didn't realize just how narrow it is. So it's not really like that Netflix and chill kind of couch. Like I can't seduce people on here, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you lay on it, you just like roll off immediately. So that's a little disappointing. And I'm not gonna name the brand they didn't want to sponsor me. I tried to tell them, I was like, look, I've got this bunny and this YouTube channel and they ghosted me. So that's okay, I didn't need you anyway because I have a sponsor for this video and we're gonna insert that right here. Today's video is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, so big thank you to them. Curiosity Stream has thousands of streamable nonfiction TV shows and documentaries consisting of travel, food, 
animals, nature, history, including their latest series, Dug to the Rescue, out now, which chronicles the unique mission to rescue animals stranded in the aftermath of a natural disaster. They feature 35 collections of curated programs handpicked by experts for streaming to any device, anytime, anywhere. Please visit the link in my description and use the code LENINTHEBUNNY to sign up for only $14.99 for the entire year. So this mirror right here, it's an antique mirror that I got at the local flea market. And then I love this lamp. It's a postmodern kind of plaster twist lamp. I also painted this painting. I think, um, I think a boy made me cry for this one too. With the coffee table, I love that it's glass. It's got this postmodern vibe as well. Also, you know, I didn't want the Persian rugs to like get lost. And I really like that you can still see the vibrancy of the rugs. Over here, we've got this kind of bench table situation. I actually built this too. I'm a builder in case I didn't already mention that. But it's kind of taken on like a, a console role, you know, and I've repurposed it for books and my plant and such. I never thought I'd have a TV in my adult life. I'm actually very anti-television in the living room, but I finally, I've caved in because this apartment was kind of screaming, get a TV. So I was like, all right, what's the closest thing I can get to getting a TV that doesn't look like a TV, if that makes any sense. Like, can it resemble artwork, you know? And as humanity would have it, there is such a thing out there. It's always on like the free artwork because I'm too cheap to get a subscription, but it's kind of cool. It's like this purple pink ocean constantly glaring at me. And this is also where I watch like Len and the Bunny all the time. See how I tied that in there? So here we have the bedroom. We're basically sleep deprived Lorelei is sleep deprived all the time. Someone was throwing out this antique cast iron bed frame from the 1920s. So I just swooped it up and monopolized it for my own benefit. It was in my last apartment tour, but I love the emerald green, it's just stunning. So this trunk here is from Colombia. I have a guitar that I do not play, but it's a nice thing to wake up to and a great view to boot. This bathroom is so spacious. It can fit like a chair in here. And then one of the things that caught my attention in this apartment when I first moved in was kind of the faux marble tile in the bathtub. I just think it's really pretty. And then over here we have some built-in shelves and then of course quite the large vanity to do makeup and get ready for you guys. I also love this little guy right here. I bought this from a local artist, Jewel Salas. She's a queer Filipinx artist in the LA area. I've got a really cool balcony. You don't get to see the view though because then you'll stalk me and we don't really want that. Got some cool chairs out here. You know, spent a lot of time thinking about what I'm really doing with my life. Water my plants and then that's it. Another cool feature about this apartment is this sliding door before you get into the bedroom, which is great for privacy, but also really good at deterring Lennon from like scratching at my door at night and making noise. At the old apartment, she used to do that at my door, so I did have to use a baby gate to block it off. And so that's why this door is such a gift for someone like me. <laughs> Bye. So here we have the huge storage room slash laundry room. And that's one of the things I loved about this apartment was just the storage space. Like I could fit my piano in here and this is basically Lennon's room. So her litter box is right here. I keep her hay in this gigantic hamper. And what I do is I buy a flake at our local feed store and it just fits perfectly in here. And then everything's like pretty organized. You know, I've got like all the cleaning stuff. Everything's labeled, I keep my linens up there. It's because of this room 
that it doesn't look like a rabbit lives in this apartment because all of the mess really happens in here. So over here, I've got like my to-do videos, quite a long list. And then um, washer and dryer, you guys, in LA is like such a huge thing. Like you don't understand. Game changer, okay? Because I used to have to like use quarters and stuff. Play a little something bluesy for you. I was 18 when I wrote that. Still holds true today. Oh, and here's a really cool detail. I got I bought this night light recently because obviously when I turn off the light, it's pitch black. And since Lennon is partially blind, I want to provide her with some illumination. So that just like turns on when you turn the light switch off. Is that like not the niftiest thing you've ever seen? Don't need y'all to see my undergarments, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's all you get. <laughs> Bye. Okay, get out of my MTV cribs. <laughs> you can do it, Lennon. You got this, Lennon. You can do it. You got this. this is we the believe in you. At the end. We believe in you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>